Welcome back to another episode on the Zero Tick server. This is episode 13. I hope everyone had a good Halloween. Um, I know I did. It, was, it, was, it wasn't as exciting as I'd like, but I had to work, but that's okay. Um, so we know that it's November. It's time to take down all the Halloween decor and get set for the next round of holidays. So with further ado, I am going to start de spookifying everything. So again, I hope you all had a good Halloween. Let me know in the comments if you did anything fun or special. Well, I did with work. <laughs> and I apologize that this episode has come out so late. Um, things have been kind of crazy in real life between the class I'm taking and at work. So schedules have been just kind of awful. All right, I will check back with you shortly as I take down all of our cobwebs and spooky posters and get our butt cats under control and down from high places. Alright, see you in a bit. Everything is all unspookified. The kitchen is all cleaned up from decor. The villager area, a little here, the li living room. Cobwebs are off the ceiling. Everything's all gone. Dining room's back to where it is. My spooky tree is oh, gone. I loved that thing. It was so cool. Everything's gone. I even cleaned up the shopping district. And even I'm unspookified. I've got on my cold weather gear. I've got my jeans on. And I've got my hood up on my hoodie. So I can stay nice and warm. <laughs> All right. So as I was going through and putting everything away, um, I realized that some of I had created some dump chests. So I did a bit of cleaning up. I don't know if you remember, but I've had a pile of chests over here and some shulkers from a few of our excursions cleaned it all up and decided that you know what I need? I need a full set of shulker boxes. One of each color. So let's let's do that. So I've got an orange box here. Let's go do this in the kitchen. Alright, so I've got my orange box here. And I've got all the colors in here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 colors in Minecraft. So I've got the dye already. I've got my inventory already organized. I already have white box, a green, cyan, purple, light blue, and of course I'm looking in the orange box. So I've already got an orange box too. Um, and I have a lime box. See, I've got lime and purple. Alright, so all we have left to do is we need a brown box, and we need a light gray, regular gray, black, already got green, cyan, we need a blue, already got light blue, already got lime, we need a yellow, already have orange, we need red, pink, magenta, and we already have purple. Okay, so let me put this box away. This goes there. Okay. Alright, so I need to make an extra chest. Okay. Make up some shulkers because we don't have enough. There we go. Alright, brown. Got it. Uh, what was next? Gray. Light gray. Regular gray. And black. Okay, green, cyan, regular blue. Okay, blue. Ooh, it's a nice blue. Um, I already got orange, yellow, red, pink, okay, magenta, and we already have purple. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There we go. We've got a full set. Woohoo! <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> so now I can have my color coded boxes. I mean, I have a few other boxes laying around. Like, um, I kept all the Halloween decorations. I stuck it in a box colored in orange Halloween decor. Um, so I can do that for a few things where I need to get organized now because I still have a ton of shulker shells, which is awesome because I love shulker boxes. So all right, I'm going to do a little bit of building. Uh, I have the building itch a bit, so 
I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to peck away at. I've got to do some housekeeping stuff. I need some more. I need to take down a tree and that kind of stuff. Let's see if our animals have done anything. Okay, we got one turtle. Hmm. Okay, it's not hatched yet. Okay. And let's check the dolphins. It looks like on my mini map, it looks like we're still good there. Come on. Ow. Activate. I'm wearing. Oh. I suppose it would help if I wore the darn thing. Derp. Derp, derp, derp. <gasps> yes, we still have them. Yay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Gotta check on these guys. Make sure they stay after all that hassle. Ah. Uh, all right. All right woo hey, let me get some building and I'll check back with you shortly. So I've been busy working on the ceiling and other parts of the base building, and look at what I found. Look at that. So creepers spawn on chorus flowers? How else did he get there? That is the weirdest thing I have ever seen. Have you seen that before? If you've seen this before, put me tell, tell me in the comments, because I have never seen that before. Not that I've done a lot with chorus flowers, but... Um, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a whole new level of, of weird. A creeper and a chorus flower. Wow. Okay then. So let me uh, give you a update as far as what I've been working on. I've got the ceiling finished in the bedroom. Um, literally just finished it when I noticed that guy hanging out there. So I've got the ceiling all enclosed in here. I've got the ceiling in here enclosed, finally. My next task is I was going to finish this closet because I, um, yeah, it needs to be finished. I'm running out of the stuff I like to keep in this bedroom. I'm starting to run out of room, so let's see what else. I did a lot of work in the basement. Uh, again, you know, prepping for storage when Mimpa goes back to working on his world eater. He just took a break from it after dying so many times from it. I've got this area enclosed now with a ceiling and everything, so it's looking all proper. I've got the hallway going all the way down here. There's still a bit done at the end I need to do. I've got to figure out what to do with Timmy. Yeah. He, he can't stay there. I just I haven't figured out where I want him to go, so his little hidey hole is, is still there. Otherwise, everything else is all, this hallway is um, enclosed. I mean, I still have to put, like, decor items and homey touches, because it's so stark right now. But yeah, so this is the beginning of the storage area. So I've got a little light up there, and I've got the, you know, the not only the words for what's on, for what's in the chests, you know, cobblestone, but also a visual input. So then you can just a quick glance see, it's like, oh, this is stone, oh, that's cobble, oh, sand, okay. So you can see all the stuff for that. I've got future area here for either another block that we end up having a ton of, or overflow for any of these particular items. Um, I noticed that I'm already getting quite a bit of dirt. Um, dirt is the first item where it's already filled up here, and um, it's, it's starting to fill up these back chests. I have an access door to get in behind here in case I need to maintenance these hoppers or anything. So let's see here, the dirt chest. Eeny meeny miny mo. Which one is it? Hmm. Alright, so I think it's this one. Yep. So we've already got that much dirt in this backup secondary chest. So, I mean, that's gonna... Looks like that's gonna be the item that fills up first. Oddly enough, who would have thought dirt of all things? I thought for sure it was gonna be cobblestone. Or stone. Uh, but actually we don't even have really that much cobblestone. That's all we've got. We've got more stone. See, stone is starting to fill into the hopper behind. So, so I got another another row of chests here. I'm not sure if I'm going to just leave these as singles or I'm going to, if I'm going to make it so that if we end up with a ton more materials to add hoppers on there. Because as you can see I left a row on top here by the ceiling so I could add in a series of hoppers if I wanted to. The question is, 
if I'm going to have that as a possibility, I've got to leave room back here to do it. I mean, I have plenty of space. Because as you can see, I mean, the hopper, my hopper thing here takes up a bit of space. I mean, it's one, two, three, four blocks behind. So that would put me at about one, two, three, four right here. So that would be, yeah, that's, I mean, that'd be fine. I mean, because eventually when I get more beacons, it's just to be, you know, flooring here, but I, mean, I guess that wouldn't be too bad because I really don't know what else I'm going to do in this section anyway. I was thinking about bringing in some villagers, but I could always have this corner be for villagers back here. Oh, I have to think about it. Um, I have. I also created two ele water elevators up into the kitchen for quick access to the main storage area. Um, got another light up here for the, the Mr. Snowman area here, and then um, the item elevator to bring stuff upstairs for quick access for like projects and stuff. But. Yeah, so yeah, uh, so this is up, zoom, zoom, and here in the, whoops, that side of the fireplace, and then for quick, uh, to get down, just yoink, and we're down. So we can just quickly run down, grab some stuff, and then go back up to the kitchen, and continue on our crafting projects. I like the idea of doing my crafting in a kitchen. I know, it's, it's just me, but yeah. A lot of, I've done a lot of tree chopping because, you know, all those chests took up a ton of wood. And then there was a wandering trader, so I did some trading with the wandering trader as well. I don't know, just kind of a little, you know, takes longer than I expected. All of this. Oh, ceiling. Yes, more, some more ceiling. I'm going to keep pecking away at this, but I wanted to give you an update as far as, like, how much I've gotten accomplished. Um, not as much as I would like, but that's okay. Um, it's fun just to kind of get back in game again after taking a week or two off for uh, real life responsibilities. Um, and that stoop, this silly creeper! Is he still out there? Or did he despawn now? Oh, he despawned. Okay, good. I've never seen that before. That was weird. Okay. I'm going to keep pecking away at it and I will check back with you in just a little bit. Well, I've been continuing to work on stuff. And I've been thinking. Which, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, is sometimes a dangerous thing. Well, so, yeah, as you can see, I I got rid of the snowman area here. I'm gonna bring him back. Everything I need for him is in this chest. Um, I'm just gonna put him somewhere else, like maybe maybe back here or somewhere. I was, as you notice, that this is missing too. Y yeah. I was thinking, I haven't even told Mimpa this yet, wouldn't it be cool if the door to this area was a piston door? That when you walk on the pressure plates, it opens for you. I mean, it's obviously not necessary, but wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> so, I've already gone into my a single player testing world and tested out kind of my, my thoughts on it. Um, so if I can, if I make this wall one thicker, which as you see, I actually have room for, I should have enough room to put in redstone to make it work. So, yeah, that's, that's, mm, that's my idea. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to try to do. I just have to, like I said, I just have to make this, this wall one block thicker. So give me a second and let me, um, let me make that adjustment. The wall is extended. As you can see, we have plenty of space, in theory. All right, so let's start putting this together. I have everything in my inventory that we should need. So let's start out by placing the sticky pistons. Okay, so we need three that way, which of course I just placed wrong. Let's move those. Okay, that's where they need to go, right there. Okay, and then these ones. Okay. That should do it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, now we need to extend them. So, let me grab this stuff. 
Okay, I remember how to do it now. I think it's... I think that does it. Yes, okay. That's, that's good, that works. Alright, let's get to the other side here. Yay for this access door. Alright, so now on this side, we just do the same thing. Okay. And... I'm gonna have to remove this wall. Um, it's probably easier to go out this side. Okay. And that should be extended. It is. Okay, great. Because that's what we want it to do when we're not stepping on the pressure plates. Okay, so now we have to send in the signal. Yep, so that, and we need the redstone repeaters for that. Redstone repeater going in. Same thing there. And then we're going to have to connect up the dust. So, dust. Right there. And designate my redstone. There. Okay, now we just have to feed it down and around. So, because we have to hook it up to where our pressure plates are going to be. And. Try that. Dust. Yep, okay, dust. Okay, great. Now, um, to get to the pressure plate. Breaking more wall. Okay. So the pressure plate will be here and here. Let's get underneath. So we can see what we're doing. Get yeah, right here. Here and across the way, like so. I we need to connect them up in theory. And I'm paranoid about mob spawns, so let's just light that up. Alright. Alright, so in theory, on this side, this side should be done. Let's go this, do that same thing on this side. So redstone, like so, and above, like so, okay, and then a spot for some redstone dust, feed it down, ooh, look at that, that lines up nice. Okay, and then we have to send this signal down here. That's all fun and dandy, but that one doesn't hook up. Can we do that with glass? I'd like to, basically what I'm trying to do, I don't want to extend out too much further, because already this is going to be the wall. So let me go grab a spare piece of glass. Okay, I've got the glass. Let's see if this works. So if we place glass here. That feeds it down. So now we just got to feed it down one more. Okay, and then let's go here. Yeah, okay. It's a little sloppy, but like I said, I don't want to come out any further this direction. So that's that's why I'm trying to like do it in a tight little corner. So all right. Let's test this out. I have to swap out the stone for my stone bricks, though just in case I do any more renovations underneath, I don't want to accidentally break my redstone. So I do have to swap that out, but let's test it. Because in theory, this should be working. That opened. Okay, so that side works. This side is not. Okay, let's check to see what the problem is. Did I not hook it up all the way? <laughs> I think that would be helpful if I actually, like, hooked it up all the way. You know, details, right? Alright, now let's test it. There we go. Much better. Perfect. Alright, let me swap out those um, the regular stone for my stone brick. So that way then, like I said, if I do any more work underneath this, I don't accidentally break my redstone. So let me do that quick. Okay, the blocks are all swapped out. Now we just have to put the floor and everything back. 
way we had it so it's nice and clean. We should light up that back area just to prevent any possible mob spawns. I mean, who knows? We just saw a creeper spawn on top of chorus flowers. So you know what? Not anything's possible. So let's make sure we don't have any possibility of wall visitors. Okay, everything's all filled in. The wall is back up on both sides. So over here and over here, all fixed and nice looking. I've got a couple torches on the inside so I don't have to worry about wall buddies. See, nice and clean. Okay, I can block this off. Okay, now. All right, for the door. Let's do, I was playing around with the idea of using, of course, just solid blocks or solid wood or whatever, but I kind of like the idea of the glass, of using at least partly glass, so we can kind of see through. I thought that was kind of a neat little idea. So I don't know, I might change it up, I might not, but I don't know, for now I think this is cool. <laughs> it works! Yay! It went so easy this time around. I'm getting a lot better at these piston doors. Although this is a simple one, there's no double piston extender needed. And that's that's when I get messed up and have problems. But yay, I did it. I'm getting so much better at this. I didn't even need Mimpus help. How about that? All right, so yeah, cool. Yay, we did rest home. So we have this fancy little door. So now I can put back, um, I had a, so a row of chests here. I'll probably put those back. Uh, I'm going to finish blocking off the innards here because a good redstone is redstone you can't see. So I'm going to hide this, put the wall back up, um, and then I'm going to build Mr. Snowman somewhere in this back corner. The other change I did is I took away the item elevator that we had made, Mimp and I had made earlier this um, in this, uh, this season. Um, I'm going to switch it up a bit because he... He uses, he travels a lot via another portal, so he's going to be coming in here, and then he's probably going to end up grabbing stuff from the storage. He might not even be going up into the kitchen at all. So it doesn't make sense for him to go up into the kitchen to dump, well, let me reverse that. He wouldn't be dumping stuff down here to go up into the kitchen. Because that's basically what he's using it for. He's using it as a garbage disposal. However, garbage disposals usually filter away from the kitchen. So, I'm going to install a garbage disposal. So my thinking on that is just using the little bit of gravity that actually does exist in Minecraft. Um, is where you just dump, dump everything down a hole. <laughs> and there'll be a, a hopper at the bottom of the hole that leads into some chests. So therefore, then, um, if Mimpa does happen to come up here, like if he's out using any of these little farms, or he happens to be up here, he can just go to the hole, which will probably be somewhere on this wall, and go dump, 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 you know. And it'll go in the hole, it'll go down somewhere, and there'll be dump chests. And then I can come through every now and again, clean them up, and sort everything away. But however, the line of, of uh, chests over here might just be that too, just like a quick dump chest. So I don't know, I might actually be the one using the uh, garbage disposal more than he will be. But it's a nice quick way, like if I'm upstairs doing stuff, I just need to get rid of my inventory quickly. It's a nice way of doing it, especially if I'm like just got junk, you know, like leftover bits from a project in my inventory, which does happen fairly frequently. So I'm going to do that as well. Stick that around here somewhere. And now that the item elevator is gone, this glass is different than that glass, and it's bothering me. So I'm going to swap that out too. But I have to do it in such a way that this water doesn't flow everywhere. Because, I mean, that would be bad if water got here. Because then it would, it would wreck um, this whole thing, which, of course, is the sandstone maker. So I gotta be careful about that. All right, I'm gonna get back to work and get this little area cleaned up a bit more and I'll see you as soon as I get that done. All cleaned up and the walls are placed. Oh, there's a dark spot here. Let me light that up. 
Mr. Snowman is over here. Look at how spiffy and his pretty block. All right. Uh, I see garbage disposal. Did I show you the garbage disposal yet? Garbage disposal. Um, let's go upstairs. Seems it. Garbage disposal. Open the hatch. Toss in your stuff. You're good to go. Downstairs. And there they be. Okay. As I was continuing to work on the base, um, this little bit, I got yet another idea. So I like the way this turned out. This is pretty cool, right? It's pretty slick. Fancy little door there. Yeah, well. Um, I got kind of tired of zombies coming into the base through the hole there that is where the front door is supposed to go. I decided it's time to finish that up. It's time to start, you know, making some progress on this base. Especially because I would like to start working on the greenhouse area, which is going to be all of this section is going to be the greenhouse, but I can't really do the greenhouse until I have, you know, the rest of the base further along than where it is. So I've done some testing and I've picked up some blocks. You see I've got a I've got a front entryway here done now. I don't know if I like that spruce fence. I might switch that out yet. But we've got stairs that come up and this will be the front door. Which is the area I had designated before for it. I was just thinking about putting in two regular doors. But I really do like the piston doors, so we're gonna put in piston doors. I'm gonna do this for the flooring. Because this will be the entryway in here, a little entry. Um, this will be the bottom section of the walls, and then I already figured out what I'm going to do for the, the actual rest of the wall. However, I want to use the mushroom stem block. Now, I'm. It might work funny. I know sometimes with working with mushroom blocks is tricky because you place two next to each other, and then you mess one up for placement and you have to remove it, you get that weird texture shift. So I don't want to place any of those blocks until I know for certain where the walls are going to go, which means I have to do the redstone. So yet another piston door we're going to work on today. So two piston doors. So let me get working on that. Like I said, I did some testing in my test world and I think I have got it all figured out. And I pretty much, I'm getting better at redstone. Mimpa likes to pick on me, but um, I thought to use target blocks initially, and then I was having issues getting the upper pistons and the lower pistons getting connected. And I called him in to kind of look at it. And sure enough, it was just, I just needed two more target blocks. I just didn't take it that one step further. So I'm getting better. So instead of four target blocks, I, blocks, I needed six. All right, let me get some room in my inventory so we can do this. Okay, we got our pistons, let's get them placed. Two there, and two there. For the door, I'm actually gonna use cartography tables because they have a really nice texture on the side that's gonna be facing out. They are directional, but thankfully for us, it is facing, the, our house is, our base here is facing the correct way. So I can use those because they have a really nice back, back texture. Okay, so now I did that. I mean, it's not the greatest from this end, but I can deal with that. But from this end, it's beautiful. And this is one block too low. Let me raise this up. All right, it's raised up. All right, so that's correct. So that should work out properly. Now the nice thing about target blocks that I didn't realize until I started picking Mimpa's brain is, oh, how did he word it? It, um, oh, that's gonna be tight. All right, that's all right, I can do some landscaping. Um, they will recognize a redstone signal going into them. So if you're doing something like this reverse, reverse power thing, I don't need to use a repeater for it. You know, I can just do the, the dust. So it, it saves me a whole nother block coming out of there. The one goes here like that, and dust coming out, like so. Now we gotta do the same thing for above, like 
like so, and then the dust coming out either end. Perfect, okay, now we have a closed door. Let's see what it looks like from the other side, and I can show you how nice it looks. Look at that, isn't that a beautiful door? That's phenomenal. Okay. Now to hook up the bottom and the top. Now this is the part I was having a difficult time with, is, is how to run the redstone up through here. But again, the trick came down to using the target block along with the redstone torch ladder. Okay, now I want to make sure that I have enough room for the actual room. So, let's see, I can't go here. I guess let's try to bring it down here. Okay, so it would the redstone torch ladder would start here. There. There. This block here would be the target block. Like so. Now we hook up the redstone. That goes right in. Nice. Now I need the torches. Okay, that should work. So that one is dark. That one's lit. Dust on top. I hope. Now let me grab some pressure plates and then we can run the signal for where it's going to be activated on this side. Okay, pressure plates are going to go here. Like that. And we have to run the dust underneath. And then hook that up to the target block. Alright, let's test it and see if this does anything. Okay, well we got the top one works. The bottom one does not. Maybe if we do that. Test it. There we go. That for that works. All fixed. Okay, good. Now we just do the same thing on this side. Test it. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Now the next tricky part is the opposite side. This is all fine and dandy for here, but we need to be able to get through on the opposite side. So, we're going to do a button. Ow. Let's try the button here. Now we need to run redstone underneath that, and then we need to add in a delay so that gives us enough time to run through. Okay, so the button is right here. So put dust there. Now we need to run that dust up to this as well as on a tick delay. Alright, so let's go here. Run it up that way, that should work. And then we should be able to fit the delay right, right in here somewhere. Alright, so we've got the two comparators going in to this block here. Now we just have to hook it all up to the rest of our redstone. Alright, it's all hooked up. See, we got the line here goes through there, it snakes its way through, underneath, and up. So let's try it and see if it works. So it works, should work still on this side, yep. Let's try the button push. Okay, well we got one side that works. Let's tear up on the floor and see what's causing the problem. Alright, so I did some poking away at this, and um, Minpa walked over and looked at my computer screen. Um, so I had to add in this redstone repeater here, because it just the signal wasn't quite strong enough on that side. So it just didn't have the, the oomph it needed to activate all the pistons. So now that I've tried this repeater here, it's not you know interfering with these pistons, and I still get the right amount of signal strength. And then with the delay, the door stays open enough that we can hit the button and, and run through. It's just, as you can see, it stays open for a bit long, so we can't, I can't use this door with baddies hot on my tail. Which is fine. This door is mostly for aesthetic purposes anyway. This is not the main door that we use to get in and out. So there we go, and it should close. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And just walk through. Yay! 
All right, and so there here is the redstone. It's not too bad. It's a little sloppy on the inside there, but that's okay. On this side, it's nice and clean. Look at all the space I have for building blocks. It's great. I love it. All right, I am going to do a little bit of cleanup, take down my scaffolding, and light up the areas. You know, just again, I am very paranoid about mob spawns. The last thing I need is a creeper to come over here and like blow this sucker up. And I'm going to start working on the entryway. Oh, that turned out so nice. Oh, that's lovely. See you soon. I am really excited to see you, to show you what I did inside. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Check this out. I am so thrilled. Got a little bit of detailing, so I've got a little bit of a table here, and I've got the boots waiting for you to sit down on the bench and put them on your little feetsies. I did, I did a hallway over here, just a little narrow thing. Enchanting room. Already stocked. That kind of sneaks over. We got some closet space here. Can never have too much closet space. And then a little back area into the kitchen. I don't get stuck here when you run across it. Normally, I've been running through it here all the time. <laughs> I only get stuck when I go slow. And then back through here. So yeah, I am really happy with how this turned out. Beautiful! Alright, base is coming along. I love this. It's great. Oh. It's not perfect, but I'm happy with it. It's good enough for my base. Our base. Olympus never here. He's always in his industrial district. Alright, well, thank you so much for tuning in on this episode. I really appreciate it. I uh, got to do redstone. Yay! Piston doors. I will see you in the next episode, and um, hopefully my schedule will be less crazy now and I can get back to a regular schedule, but um, sometimes life just gets crazy. So anyway, I will see you in the next episode, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!